Hello everybody and welcome once again to my humble abode. Today I'm going to do some more work with the, uh, the diesel uh, generator from um, Immersive Engineering. The first thing I want to do is to go downstairs to the um, workshop Let's change over to this one. and I'll show you and something else I found out it makes rather a lot of redstone from one stack of redstone. What I've been doing so far is I've been taking redstone from the nether which looks like this a stack of redstone rather all when I do this and then process through the uh, in induction smelter with a stack of sand I will get two stacks of redstone ore if I then reprocess this what I come out with is a redstone block which is nine redstone ore and sometimes we get some rich slag like that the other option is to put it in the pulverizer and in the pulverizer I'll get six redstone which is 50% less than the one block of course and occasionally I'll get a cinnabar so enough of that ah oh, we have one cinnabar And it smelt us four cinnabar and six redstone blocks. We'll leave those to process until later on. And before we close, we'll have a quick look and see what we've got. Now, what I've done here is I turned the diesel engine around. I just broke a block and moved the gen generator blocks to one side and the radiator blocks to the other, and then hit it again, and it came on. I also put a tank here and with a with a pipe, um, a hardened fluid duct. And a, and a hero server and just turn the server around and that pulled diesel into the into the engine so I was doing it in the correct place last time but maybe it didn't have enough on but when you turn this on it doesn't happen and the reason for that is we need to actually have some output so what's here I've put two energy cells for a bit of a test this one's already full in fact what we could do is to take this one from up here let's go and get this one And put this one down instead of this one here, I think. So have a look, that's the half charge one, isn't it? Five. Right, and then put this one back up here. Now, let's just turn this one around here. So this one's almost empty, but because I was carrying it, it took some energy, and this was also from, wasn't empty from this one. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make some stuff and I've been preparing some stuff that we need to make. So the first thing we need to make is some of these. In fact, these are insulated glass blocks and they're just made by pulverised iron glass and some green dye in the middle. We need four of those. So the next item, which is these. And these are wire relays. And these are made from iron ingots and these four um, insulated glass that we've just produced. We also we need some also we need some straightforward connectors. And those are made by hardened clay and aluminium ingots. At least we find a real good use for aluminium. Which is one of the tinkers constructs didn't have much use for it. We've got some clay here. Let's go and cook that clay straight up to the workshop. And we'll put that into the induction furnace, I think. Because that's by far the quickest. In fact, we only need six, but more than merry, it's no problem. In fact, oh, still processing. So let's put this back into this machinist block here. And then we can take some connectors as well. So we've got connectors. We've got high and also what we want is some wire. Have I got some wire prepared? Yes, I have. High voltage wire. What you have to be careful with here is I made a mistake with this one. First time I picked the wrong one. Instead of picking the high voltage one, I picked steel cable core. And that basically was problematic because it's just decoration and I can't find a decoration for it. So that requires two steel ingots, one stick and two more aluminium ingots. And then we get four wires. And the last thing we need to build 
is one of these high voltage not the medium voltage capacitor high voltage capacitor and that can store 40 million is that 40 million RF I think so the recipe for that is this one let's take that so what we need here is two electron wire coils one steel fence one HV capacitor actually that's what I want what did I pick a lightning rod base right <coughs> I want the HV capacitor which is MV HV capacitor this one right that's better nope still the wrong one HV capacitor ah there we are so that requires a block of lead treated wooden planks a colour actually I think that's a redstone like just block of redstone and some steel ingots well steel ingots we've got redstone we'll have to go and get and lead we'll actually have to go and get from upstairs I don't have that or do I have some I don't see any there so we need a block of redstone we've got redstone here we could use that but we've got plenty of lead, uh, redstone upstairs let's go and have a look The induction will say it's now finished. So we've got 64 blocks of redstone, which is quite a lot. And we'll put some of that, actually, we'll put some of that in here. 42 is more than enough. And we'll put the rich like here as well. And the pulverizer, that was doing the same. Actually, that's slightly problematic because it's it can't process a block. You've got to come back three times, I think, in order to be able to do that. So let's put those into here. That's fine, if yes. There we go. So, what am I trying to do? Oh yes, build some capacitors, wasn't I? So now if we put redstone in here, you see that now goes clear, so we're okay. Lead, I forgot lead. Never mind. And also treated wooden planks. Treated wooden planks, I haven't got any tree. I've got four treated wooden planks. I think we need to make some more treated wooden planks. So we need to go and get some glass and some lead from upstairs. Lead. I think we have some lead. Certainly have some. Oh, we've got plenty of glass. That's what we needed. And lead. We've got not so much lead. We'll take 32. That's fine. In fact, we can smelt the other 34 in here. Because we needed blocks of lead, didn't we? So let's put these 34 in here. While that's cooking up, let's make a block of lead. A block of lead's fairly straightforward. You just iron ingots in this square like this, and then we get a, a block. So we'll take three blocks, that's fine. Put the five ingots back into the chest here. Not quite the right place, because we'll sort that. Sometimes it sorts more than one sort to find things to really sort it out. Especially with large chests. Right, so what we need to put some... Ah, yes, some glass. Okay, and then with the glass we want to make some bottles, don't we? Yes, that makes three bottles. It should be fine. I'll make six bottles, put the glass in here. What we're going to do with the bottles is to come to the creosote tank at the back here there it is and simply right click on these like this every time you right click it it fills one of the bottles up which is a great way of doing of preparing bottles let's go back over here fly over things really good so what we need to do for that if i remember correctly is to take a creosote bottle here and then just take ordinary planks and surround the bottle with planks like this and that gives me eight treated in fact i can of course put more so now we have 36 treated planks which is great so we'll put those into here so now we have enough to produce this hv capacitor which is empty so we'll produce a couple of those okay and we shall take these out of here and we also want something else. We'll take a pole. We've got some poles here. The reason for the pole is I'll put the pole down in the middle here. Put 
очень слой. And then with the hammer, this is a bit strange actually, it takes quite a lot of time. I click it on there and then I go around it eventually comes out I think. But it's very slow. Sort of a bit buggy that particular bit. As you see now we have these two. So what we're now going to do is to take these HV relays and put them on the bottom of this of this um, stand here. And the same for this side. See so that one worked quickly. This one now oh, that worked. And you see it takes quite a long time before that she goes down. And these are now the um, HV relays. So you, with HV you can't do uh, connect two, two wires together. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's go up here and put onto the into the ceiling some of these one of these capacitors. Let's put it somewhere in the middle, like here. And then with the hammer, what you can do, if you, if you right click a face, you can change the side of it. So this blue means it's an output, and the orange means it's a, a blue means it's an input, I think, and the orange means it's an output. So what we can then have to do is put a connector on that. I can move that out of the way here. And you see now it's got an output. In fact, yes, that was the correct one. So what we then have to do is come over here and connect another output from here to here. Now what the problem is is like this. Let's take the let's put the hammer here for the time being. So if I select this one and right click this one, at the bottom it says linked from give you a coordinate and then I click this one here and it links. If I want to now connect that one from here to here it says you cannot attach a wire and that's because you, this is then acting as a relay. So what you then have to do is to go and put another connector on here like this and then connect this relay here there to there and you see this time it actually did connect Okay, and of course we can do the same thing with a connection on the floor. Let's put another one of these HV capacitors on the floor here. Go up here, put a connector up here, and I wonder if this will work. Let's try putting a relay on top of here. Now relays can only go down, I think. So here we can take a, a wire out of here like this. Ah, uh, I need a connector. I don't have any more on me, but I did make some more early on. This is to be on the safe side and plenty of wire as well. Is that the right wire? Yes. Oh, yes, that's, they don't go together because one of them is, according to the thing, is linked. It's not really. Okay, what was I doing? I guess. I want to connect. From I need a connector on here, don't I? For so the wire here, take one wire to that and link that to there. You cannot attach wire to the same point. I have to try that. There you go. It remembers the place. And here, I can take another connector and I connect. I can connect onto the top of this uh, from here. Let's take the wires here from there to there. And then from there, I want to put another connector on. It's a bit complicated, but to there. And that does work because that's a, a relay. The relays can only go down. And the same is true here as well. Of course, I can put another connector on here. Try again. Shift click I have to use. And connect that from there to there. Right. So in a complicated overly complicated manner. You can see I've connected two outputs from here, one to this capacitor and then from that capacitor to this redstone. And the same again for this redstone. So now, with a bit of luck, you can start the motor and you can see it's working and you can hear it. Smoke coming out of here, 
radiator turning around and power being generated. And we should see these things being charged up. But this one's not being charged. And the other one? Let's have a look. This one is being charged. So probably what the problem is here is I think if I right click on this click it. Oh I know what I need. I've been wondering about this. It's energy volt meter here. I have this in my hand and then click on click on somehow I saw it. Shift click. see that. You can see the pattern on the um what was I using? You can see a pattern on these of where things were connected to. So still not judging them, so what we'll do so I'll hit this with the hammer on this side and keep right clicking it ah it stops automatically when the thing is full I'm not sure why this is not charging up let me remove this one from here You see, he's got no connecting point. And that should have a connection point. And that should be an input. Do I click it again? Ah, it goes orange. Off. Orange. Off. Blue. Okay. Ah, of course, we need a connector. Ah, I right click the wire this time and it changed its. And then it changed to orange. Okay. Ah! This time it will be charging up this energy cell. As the motor started automatically. So, it should show me power. It's not. Very strange. This is a relatively new mod, so I guess it's still a little bit broken. Ah, this is what's happening. Look, it is working. It's just that the redstone energy cell is being charged. And you see this going up there, it's 40 million. And this it should be coming in at a fairly high rate. Isn't that cool? Well, so now I don't need to turn it on or off, it just automatically turns itself on when it's got enough power. Of course I can't turn it off with the switch, which is already off, makes no sense. Uh-huh. Let's simply turn Now I'll leave it on. Oh, it's just a bit uh, strange, isn't it? Oh, it's So this energy cell will be very shortly full. And then after that it will fill up this one. So while that's happening, let's go upstairs again and check what has happened to the to the redstone processing. So in the induction we've already taken out, haven't we? There were 64 blocks in here. And here, here are one. I've got another six, two blocks of 63 which is exactly enough to make uh, four redstone blocks let's see, we'll put it straight into there and we should get two more coming out of here and of course the cinnabar which is as a byproduct is also is very useful for making shiny metal and it won't take very long let's just let this finish Oh, 
let's finish here. Let's make sure we've got something. It's got plenty of flint in the desktop mill. So 10 times 6 is 60, so that should make it exactly 62 in this block as well. And there is a 25% chance that 16 would be the correct number of cinder bars. And there we have our 16 cinder bars, which is... Now we've got 17, so we're right above odds now, so my previous calculations were completely wrong about that. I was thinking, no, oh look, we've got... Oh yes, we'll have another 4, won't we, because of another 6. Exactly, and 18. Ooh. Let's put those in there. Let's put those in there. Let's go down and have a look how the generator's doing. And you'll see that the quarry, another quarry is still working away. And when I was last looked at this, it was filling up those 112 stacks of um, obsidian. That's incredible. Turn off that. And now it's finished. Turned itself off. That's now 20 million RF. This has now got 40. 4 million RF and so everything's working just fine and I hope you enjoyed that and until next time bye for now